Hey guys. <clears throat> um, um, so since this quarantine has started, I look terrible and I'm wearing pajamas and I have no makeup, but I don't care. Um, my birthday was on the 8th and, um, I got the American Girl Hotel, but, um, I did an opening video for that, but it was 40 minutes long, so I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> so I'm going live to open a few other things. <clears throat> I'll show you a couple of things that I got. Um, well, one thing that I got that I opened already because it didn't come on the same day as these two things because they both came today. So I opened the other one um, the other day when it came. And uh, and then I have a big reveal at the end of something I have been working on since Thanksgiving. So I'm so, so excited to show you that. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you because I already opened this. I got this on this outfit on Amazon. I mean, not Amazon, on eBay. Um, and it came with this pretty little bonnet it's got like this mesh material over satin and then this pretty like taffeta material with some roses and it's this gorgeous flower dress this mesh and then it's like this taffeta and then this pink taffeta at the bottom roses and these tiny little pearls and it's just gorgeous and um my favorite thing besides all this tiny i love this the details on this it's gorgeous but I love that this dress came with a hoop skirt. This is my first doll hoop skirt. I'm so excited. I, that's why I just like, I can't wait. Um, I know I'm going to video later. This is Everly, by the way. She's a create your own. Um, she has the just face mold, light blonde hair in the long wavy and the light blue eyes. Just in case y'all wanted to know. Anyway, so she is wearing this gorgeous dress. And I love it. It's so pretty. Now, I have a couple of outfits that I ordered, and then, like I said, the big reveal at the end. So, let's get started with the first outfit. So, somebody asked the other day on one of the Facebook groups I'm a member of um, what doll I thought would make a cute Bendy Irwin. And I think either Leah or Joss would be a cute Bendy. And I, I ordered this adorable little safari outfit. Um, and I have Joss here. She's going to be putting it on. So let me just get her out of this little romper I have her in that I made yesterday or day before. I don't remember. My days run together. Um, these shoes are so hard. These are her meat shoes. They're so hard to get off. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to be opening that up and show it to you on her. So let's get right in. All right, so I got everything else. So the first thing are these adorable little lace-up boots. And the laces are on the inside, but they do actually have long laces so they can tie. And the little tongues for the shoes. So that could prove to be difficult. I mean, they're like not stitched to the top, so I have to make sure I hold them. But the inside of the shoe is a nice white material. So I don't think you're going to have to, if you get this set off Amazon, I don't think you would have to worry about dye transfer with that. And then it comes with this adorable little stuffed monkey. So cute. This safari hat. And then this is the belt. It's got a little buckle on the end. And then it's got this skirt. It's like a nice A-line skirt. Velcro's in the back. Um, there we go. Okra. And then this adorable like safari style dress jacket thing. And it does really button in the front buttons and buttonholes. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that unbuttoned. And I'm going to put this on Joss and you guys can tell me if you think she makes a cute Bendy Irwin. Um, and then I'll get to the next outfit, which Nene is going to put on us uh, on us on for us. And then the big reveal. So I'm just going to start with the little skirt. I sew, and I just don't understand why anyone would sew with the hard Velcro facing in. I have to be so careful, and all of my dolls who that have that, like, nylon type underwear have snags on them from Velcro, from stuff like this. So this skirt is a pretty tight fit. I had to kind of work to get it on, but it does fit up around her waist. Okay, and then I'm going to put the little jacket on. 
This is so cute. I think this is a cute little safari outfit. Like, yeah, I think she would be cute as Bindi. We're going to see how she looks. So adorable. And then buttoning these tiny buttons. Also, um, I am working on hopefully um, making and publishing my very first American Girl pattern. I designed it all on my own. I sewed it today and it came out really nicely. So I started typing up the instructions and hopefully I can get it, um, get it, get pictures of it. I'll have to sew it again to get pictures for the pattern and then take some pictures and post it. Well, I'd like to publish it. Um, so I'll just have to see. Okay, so I guess this belt is supposed to go up a little further. I was trying to put it like down around her hips, but I don't think it's going to tighten up right if I put it. She looks so cute in this. So, yeah. So, um, sewing has been definitely keeping me busy. Um, starting next week, though, I'll be doing a little bit of work from home. I'm not sure what I'll be doing yet. Um, they haven't really given us the details. And I guess I'll be doing that for the next like month or so till summertime. And then I'll be out for the summer and I can continue my um, quarantine sewing. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it because I'm staying so busy. Um, super excited about publishing my first pattern. That would be really cool. And if I do publish, as I'm sure you're wondering, where I would publish, I would hope to publish to Pixie Fair. Um, I'm aspiring to that. So I'm just going to hope that I can figure out how to get the photos into the document, save it as a PDF, all that fun stuff, um, so that I have something to upload for them, I guess, to send to their testers. Because they, it says on the publishing page they have a testing market, which is good because all, patter all patterns should be tested first because it can turn out badly and you do need testers to um, help make sure you've worded things clearly and help make sure that what works for you is going to work for them. So, okay, for a minute I thought they sent me like two of the same shoe and I was like, wait a minute, but no, I was just holding it funny. Um, so, this would be pretty easy for a kid to put on. Might need help with the shoes. Um, but at least the shoelaces have the little aglets on the end. So if they come, if you did have to unlace the boots, um, you can lace them back up. So that is a plus. My daughter has some gold sparkly boots from American Girl. And she accidentally unlaced them. And they don't have the little aglets at the end. And I thought I would never get them laced back up. I did. But it took me, I had to use some tweezers and a needle and it was very frustrating. It took me about 30 minutes just to get one lace back in the hole. I was so frustrated. Okay, so here it is. Look at her. She does, that window is great. I got to get a curtain put on that. She does make a cute Bendy Irwin, I think. Oh, the hat. Let's put the hat on her. Mm-hmm. So adorable. It doesn't really fit down on her head, but I have her hair in braids. So that could be why. Oh, there we go. It does. I just had to push it down a bit. There we go. So the hat pushed down. She looks so cute. And here's her little monkey friend. So adorable. And there's the boots. There you can see the whole outfit. That is so cute. Okay, the next dress I got is from some seller called Zeta Element. It's like a wedding dress. And my beautiful Nenea is going to be putting it on. And I don't remember if it came with shoes. So I grabbed these little sparkly flats to stick on with it. Um, I don't, it doesn't feel like it has shoes in it, but that doesn't mean anything because it's in this tiny bag. So it's cool because it's a resealable bag though. So this dress is like a wedding style dress. And I guess if you didn't want your doll to be getting married, she could be going to the prom. Um, so again, these are all birthday presents that I got. So this is this pretty little flower headband. I think that's so appropriate for Nenea. And then 
Here's the gorgeous dress. So it's got like a satin underlay and a nice tool overlay. It's pretty wrinkly, um, but it was packed in that little bitty bag. And it's like a stretchy lace off the shoulder style dress. It does close with Velcro in the back. So I'm just going to try it on Nenea and we shall see how it fits. They had pictures of it, um, of course, on Amazon, and it looked so pretty. So I really wanted it. Which tomorrow's Easter, so I'm trying. I'm kind of trying to like, like all my dolls are pretty dressy right now for Easter, <laughs> and um, I can't wait to show you the big reveal here in a minute at the end of the video because <clears throat> that's like the ultimate Easter dress that anyone could possibly want. I think it's so gorgeous and I can't wait to show it to you. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I sound awful. I have terrible allergies and I live in the South where um, the pollen is ruling our world. And every time I go outside, it just gets worse. Okay, so it did not come with shoes, but here is the dress. So gorgeous, it's so long and it's a beautiful, beautiful wedding dress um i'm not sure what's going on it's got like this layer of tool that's like folded up under this other layer i don't know looks like it got sewn in weird but that's okay it's super pretty <clears throat> weird black hair here there we go but like i said it's a little wrinkly now i'm gonna slide these sparkly flats on her and the Flower headband. I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to do the big reveal and I'm going to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. I sound awful. So I'm just going to put this pretty little flower headband on her. Which I think is so... It, she It's almost like Moana getting married in the modern day times. Um, ugh, one piece of hair wants to stick up. Of course. I don't have the hairbrush in here either. It's in the other room. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if you have any of these sets, um, let me know. I like to see who has ordered the same things. This is so pretty. So it's got this nice off-the-shoulder, um, stretchy lace, satin underlay. It's very thin, but it's very pretty. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of water, guys, and I'm going to do the big reveal, and I'm going to be done. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, everybody remember back um, around Christmas, American Girl revealed this super expensive Swarovski crystal holiday dress. Well... I already had a similar dress, which was the retired version of it or whatever. And while I could not afford Swarovski crystals, I could afford these little rhinestone, rainbow rhinestones. Um, I got the gloves um, that went with it off of uh, someone in a group. I bought them. And then I just used a pair of shoes that I already had. And then I put this dress on my slightly customized truly me 49 and i think she looks fantastic so here's the big feel Ta -ta! i'm so proud of this dress you guys and even the shoes which are sliding off of her feet have rhinestones i did those um i did do the back of the dress and if you're wondering how i customized her i bought a this wig um it's a heat safe wig and it was about yay long i did cut it myself um to be like the original wig's length it's much thicker it's, it was called midnight black but i don't think that seller exists anymore she has rhinestones on her gloves um and that's why she's customized oh and she has little bitty hearts cosmetics eyelashes nanea has those and everly as well joss is the only doll that i have out today that does not have those so and then i have this sparkly hair clip to go with it I'm so proud of this dress. Um, there's no way I could have afforded it uh, otherwise, but I did it myself. It did take a lot of hours and a lot of patience. Um, I bought the gems from Walmart, and then when I ran out, we found the same ones on Amazon so that I had enough. 
um, I bought two sizes. I bought some larger ones and some smaller ones. I did use all the smaller ones. Um, I still have a good bit of the, the larger ones. I can't quit looking at it sparkle on the camera. It's amazing. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, tell me what you guys are doing during quarantine. Um, and tell me what your dolls are up to. What, what kinds of doll stuff are you getting? Are you ordering? Um, and I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you guys have uh, a good Easter weekend. Bye.